Okay, we're going to try that again. This is a monster of a machine. This is a Pitney Bowes embosser for cards. And I'm going to move my light down here. And hopefully we'll all be able to see it a little better. There we go. So the way this works is we'll pull this down. And we're going to use this Academy card. It's an old gift card. that doesn't have any value on it anymore. There's a reason I usually keep these old cards. Okay, so we push this all the way over, and you can select what line of the card you want it on. We're going to go with... I'm going to put it halfway down. So up here, you can see you've got your letters. Focus, you stupid thing. Focus, you stupid thing. Okay, there you go. So if you wanted to put a T, you'd spin this over to T. Pull the handle down. Push it back up all the way. We're gonna. And you can watch down here what happens when I do that. And then it moves it one click out. As I turn it, see, they're moving. And I need to. I need to align it because you can see. When that pushes down, it's hitting the edge of it. There's a backspace key too. And you pull this back, card pops up. Oh. Pull the card out. And I don't know how well that's going to show up, but it says test. Let's see if I can get that to focus. Oh, you worthless thing. Well, there you go. Take my word for it, it says test. But some of the times, like here, if you get it wrong, it'll push two down at once like that, and it'll mess the print up. So I need to try to figure out how to adjust that and get that so it just hits one. Um, this label that has the alphabet on there had come off, and I had to take this whole top off and tape it back in there and line it back up because it was so skewed that if you put it on one letter it was like 10 letters off. Obviously this can hold more of these dies because there's a bunch of empty spaces on there. I'm guessing upper and lower case and maybe other fonts or other symbols but I mean I don't know. Well you've got the alphabet uh, you got letters 1 through 0 uh, period, comma, dash uh, forward slash apostrophe and and then one that's supposed to actually erase it's just two flat dies I guess that have no no letter or anything on them and they're supposed to erase it doesn't work that well but there's these little spacers in there that do something or other I don't know what but it was filthy it needed oiled I paid five bucks for it I mean you could do steel I did this little plate with steel. You could do that. They don't recommend it because it'd probably tear it up after a while. If you used really light aluminum, it would probably be okay. But I wouldn't use any kind of steel. And from a site that deals with info on dog tag machines, they say this machine will not hold up to using it for dog tags. So if you want to get one of these to use for dog tags, from what I've read online, don't. It will not. It's not designed for that. As you can see, the space is way too big to put a dog tag in there anyway. I mean, it's designed for cards and plastic. I mean, I don't know. I may keep it for a while. I may give it away or something. I don't know. I'll probably keep it. But there you have it. This card has no value, so who gives a crap if you see the numbers? There you go. Thanks for watching. Pitney Bowes Embosser. Enjoy.